y'all welcome to a country girl's attic my name is tina and i'm so happy you're here in today's video i will be showing you two very inexpensive and super easy last minute halloween diys to do and i will also be giving you a few halloween decorating hacks let's go ahead and get started with the first diy for the first one i used a dollar tree halloween treat bag I also used a pizza box. The first thing I'm going to do is cut out the front side of my treat bag and I'm going to leave the excess on the sides. I'm going to measure an opening in the pizza box and I need to make it a little bit wider so I'm going to just trim the extra from the cardboard box off. Once I have the opening at my desired measurements, I'm simply going to hot glue this into place. Once that is good and secure, then I'm going to uh, just paint my pizza box a white. And I'm not going to do this like fully covered. I'm just going to kind of give it a, a white washed or a, you know, rustic look because you're not going to see much of this anyhow. So I'm just going to brush over it real quick with a white uh, coat of paint. Once I have that done, I'm going to glue some Dollar Tree ribbon around the front of my little picture that I'm making, and I'm going to just put that on there to merely give it a finished look. Once I put down all the ribbon on the front, I'm just going to make a little bow out of the ribbon and hot glue that to the little kitten's neck. Now, here's a little tip when you're uh, gluing to this. Make sure that it's almost uh, cool so it doesn't melt through the, uh, the material. Um, but once I've done that, it's complete and I'm just going to add a set of lights. And here's how he turned out. I think he turned out so cute. Today's video is in part with a group of wonderful, super lovely, talented ladies. They'll all be giving us such wonderful decorating ideas and DIYs. I cannot wait to watch each and every one of them. I will link all their channels down in my description box below. Head over and check out each and every one of them. For my second DIY, I'm going to be using trash again. I'm just going to take old cereal boxes and, and you know, the little cheese it crackers and things like that. And I'm just going to trace some pumpkin faces on top of the box. Once I have the mouth and the eyes and nose all traced out, I'm simply going to take my little knife and I'm going to cut those pieces out of the box. Once I have cut out all the pieces, then I'm going to tear my box apart and I'm going to lay it flat so I can paint it. I'm going to want these to have a metal look. I actually saw some of these on Pinterest. So this is Pinterest inspired by the way. And I just wanted to have a metal finished look like an old rusty metal or farmhouse rustic metal. And I'm just simply going to use some brown paint and some black paint and throw in a little bit of cream to try to just make it look old and weathered. And I will be painting the inside and the outside of the box. Once I have it all painted, I'm just going to set it aside to dry. I'm going to make a bottom and a top base out of my remaining pizza box that I have, and then I'm simply going to hot glue this all together back into place. I added some lights to them so you can see them glowing and I think they turned out absolutely adorable.
And now for a few repurposing and decorating hacks. Y'all know me, I'm always shopping clearance. So after Halloween or after any sale for that matter, I'm always picking up things on clearance when I can find them. So I'm just going to give you a few ideas of things that are useful to pick up and things that you can use if you think out of the ordinary in your decor for different seasons and different times of the year. Like my cake plate here, you can use that for so many different reasons, not just for serving cake. You can use it for decor in your vignettes. You can use it as a candle holder. There, the options are endless. And I encourage you to just think outside and just repurpose things, especially if you try to decorate on a budget and you want to get the most use out of items you have in your home every day. Like these cute little glasses. I got these at Walmart one year and they sat around in their store forever until they marked them down to 10 cents. And I think they make the cutest little Halloween lanterns. They're just adorable. I just threw some lights in there and one of the little luminaries kind of changes colors. The one in the owl. And I think they turned out super cute and they'll add so much if I wanted to just sit them around the home. I think lighting has a lot to do with your decor. I love putting things with light in into my everyday decorating and I just love the glow that it gives my home. Now my daughter is the the skull fanatic so but I'm just showing you that you can use these as well to decorate with and uh she she loves skulls year round and uh I, they kind of creep me out a little bit so I'm just showing you that you can throw a set of lights in these also and they just you know can can give you um, some more decorating ideas. And this actually is a cup also. Here are a few more ways that you can repurpose and reuse mugs around your house, especially if you have a bunch. These again are my daughter's and she let me borrow these. And I, you can just throw straws or whatever you want to in there. The sky's the limit. You can absolutely repurpose or reuse anything from baskets to plates to whatever you find in your home. You can repurpose it and reuse it to save money and to even if you need a little extra something, just look around your home and I'm sure you'll find something that you can use to add to your decor. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Trash to Treasure DIYs, and I hope that you found some of my hacks useful, and again, I want to remind you to once again check out all the ladies in the playlist down below, and I will make sure I link all of those and the playlist as well. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Stay safe. God bless.